when's the last time you cried? Oh, damn. Bulia. Am I allowed to say like this morning or like right before I walked into the studio? Let me do say my poem. <laughs> I think Monday. It was yesterday. Yesterday. Juicy. Juicy. Four days ago. Last week on Friday. Last, Last week. Kwa recently. Four years ago. Recently. Four years ago. You were mazish. Niki poteza ma yanga sister. Like a year ago. I don't remember. Monze mini G. Monze made me have never cried. I can't recall. I think in August. <sighs> I happen. I mean, we come on one home. No, I don't cry. Cry, cried. Um, Saturday. I'm not a cry. That time I really want to cry. I'll sit down and be like, oh, but nothing is coming out. <laughs> when I lost a friend, like last year, there were so many emotions going around. I had lost someone. Um, He was like a brother to me. Um, he was in an accident, like a border border. And yeah. It was sad. Oh my god. Keep your friends like this. They are my rock. Mm -hmm. Because we're all experiencing like grief together. So we've just been able to become closer and just helping each other through it. Yeah. About four days ago. Probably watching a movie. I was watching a movie. That's the only time I cry. And it's this movie. It's a series. A man named Otto. I, I started watching Akim Sini Judge. A man called Otto. I just started watching Vampire Diaries. It was sad. Yeah, and there was an episode there that made me cry. Like that guy, so... Elena. Elena in Demon. He has a hard shell, but underneath, is so soft. And I think their relationship, their relationship was shaky and just how they were expressing themselves just made me feel. But this guy wanted to... to terminate his life and kwa taka kujua but sita waribia movie I'm, I'm a very bad spoiler by the way I just go watch it uh, last time I cried was it was yesterday I wouldn't say I cry a lot but compared to the normal man I do cry a lot been going through a rough time man because kwangu miss you kama crying I think it's a good um, way of releasing your emotions financially. I have a background in, in psychology. My money is held up somewhere and it bears stress. So the last time I was in Zuri was August. I had like three music video shoots this week. August is the month where the month I lost my mom. Plus this shoot, plus another shoot tomorrow. And I'm paying for a lot of stuff and I'm broke. So I remember August 16th, I was in the house and it's been like a year or two since we lost her. So I just sat down and cried. So I called my brother that day and wow. Tulikuwa tu kwa simu tunaongea tunasema what you remember about her. Tunalia, tunalia. And then money came into my account and I was a bit happier. But Rudy, tunalia, tunaongea, tunaongea, tunalia, tunaongea, tunaongea, tunalia. It's still rough man. So if you want my Mpesa number, DM me on IG at Kanzu. You can donate man. It was so therapeutic, you know. I think crying just helps you feel better in the moment. So yeah, I miss her sana. Yeah, whether I'm broke or not, me I'll cry man. Shit. <laughs> Yo, me I'll cry. And then if money comes, it comes. So um but also I don't feel sadness when I think of my mom. That's the first time I've cried because of money, I won't lie. Before then, I've been broke before, it's just like ah, whatever. But this time hit me different. Like I feel a lot of happiness. And people are really on my ass. Like, yo, where's that money? Where's that money? You need to pay me. Hey! And I'm trying to tell them, bro, my money is held up. Like, siati ko baya. Siati na kunyi madu. Hey, but sometimes people find it hard to understand, so. Na, nilikuanga na kondros. Sae ni menyo. So I know my mom, sae. Hey! It is what it is, man. She's so happy. She's so happy with this hairstyle. Yeah. So if you're watching this one day in the future and I'm rich, just know I've come from a rough place. I cried yesterday because of money. I cried my eyes out. When's the last time you cried? Uh, recently. Like Sato. <laughs> I cried because I felt like I'd pent up so much emotions. I was overwhelmed emotionally. And I wasn't dealing with them in the right way. And stressed because of work. Just sort of an outburst. Okay, I wouldn't say I actually cried, cried because tears did actually come out. Uh, I was kind of ill and so currently my current job, so we're going through a 
retrenchment. So basically a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. Nilikuwa emotional kidogo on my side then. So basically I remember that meeting. I, okay, I didn't go for the meeting. And then my so one of my colleagues called me. I was like um so this is happening. Uh basically half of the people in the company are going to lose their jobs. And so like it was kind of sad. Nilikuwa I, I got into my feelings. It got into me so. Uh the fact that like a lot of people are going to lose their jobs and also you know we've been like used to this culture where we meeting each other every now and then. Actually niliamka nikiwa nimevura macho so nikajua tu nililia usiku. And so it was actually really sad and the fact that we wouldn't be like hanging out as usual. Nilikuwa naogopa kudedi. And as normally as we used to so that was kind of sad. Yeah. I think it's Monday. I got emotional this Monday. I took a lot of Lika makes me very easy to It makes me malleable. A close friend of mine lost her mom. I'm a marshmallow on the inside but I'm very hard on the exterior. So I was watching it. I couldn't go to the burial. So I felt bad. But Lika just takes down like the stones. So so I cried. For a second I just got very emotional and then I watched the burial and as she was saying her tribute. Yeah, I also cried because I realized that I might have made a choice that didn't make that does not make me as happy as I would want to be because I felt bad I wasn't there for her but yeah it's just life you know it's yeah that's the last time I cried the last time I cried eh hey, hey, kulia juzi ah last weekend let me say my poem gabzi man gabzi in it eh kulia azim ile tu na kaga unajua kwa zako ume ume azim you are gone tia gas kwa macho so like hadi si kulia si ile kulia ni ile nimeyoni nikalia I love you. Yeah. And you too last day, yeah. Like a year ago, my shosh died. I lost my grandpa. And that's that's last year. Yeah. Mm, around October. Yeah. Eh, manze mimi ji, manze me me have never cried. I've never cried, manze. Maybe this a kwa kuna kitungu. Nikikata kata kitungu no muli peke yake. Kwa recently. I think in August. I lost someone I like. I was going through a lot. Lipas. Relationship wise. Juzi. I can't recall. Like five months ago. We were going to watch um, a documentary probably three days ago. Um, I was watching a documentary about corporal punishment in Kenya. My my boyfriend did me <laughs> made me sorry. He made me cry. And you students are being beaten. And it made me remember a time in class four where I was beaten joke. Kosa kutora sherehani. Yes, do I think Nikki to your tailor? Actually, that she was breaking up with me. Charlie, you pick up your boy almost 150 at 6:30 in the morning. So that of crying. It's just too much. At my aunt's funeral, yeah. 